Have you ever wanted to know how long it takes for the chocolate you enjoy eating to be grown in the fields and made into all kinds of delicious chocolate bars and cakes? You are about to find out the magical process of chocolate from the cocoa tree to the chocolate bar. Cocoa grows on theobroma trees in hot countries like Africa and Colombia, and the cocoa pods, which look a bit like brown and orange melons, can be picked or harvested by the farmers twice a year. These pods are sliced open using a large knife, and the white mushy beans inside are taken out and put into large wooden crates to be fermented. This is the start of the flavours which you recognise as chocolate beginning to develop. This step, called fermentation, takes around six days. The fermented beans are then laid out in the sun to dry, where the cocoa farmer keeps turning them over to make sure they're dried evenly. They stay out in the hot sun for about four days. The dried beans are placed in sacks and taken to a sorting warehouse, where they're carefully checked to make sure they're of a good quality. This is called being classified and the farmers are then paid for the weight of the beans they take to the warehouse. This usually takes around two days. From here, the beans travel to the processing factory, and with the use of lots of big machines, each bean is roasted. Depending on the origin of the bean, the time and the temperature will change. The husk on the bean will be removed before it being added to the refiner. Our chocolate is refined for three days, so it is a very long process, and through friction, the cacao becomes liquid. The chocolate is then rested for two weeks to a month, and then tempered and casted into chocolate bars. Each bar is then demolded by hand, All of the JSIC products are hand packaged and like this bar goes into a plastic sleeve and then into a paper envelope ready for the retail stores and online sales.